I've basically said that for your montage assignment, surrealist photo montage assignment, that you need to at least be able to create a um, double exposure type of image where one image is um, blending into another. So I've opened GIMP here and I've got uh, the flower image here behind and I opened a second image of the hands with the keyboard. Now, I want to put the two images together. Now here's something. Um, in Photoshop, I can just grab the Move tool, but I'm in the GIMP now, and that's the Move tool in the GIMP. This 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 thing right here is the Move tool in the GIMP. And in Photoshop, I can just drag and drop, right? Drag and drop. In the GIMP, I can't do that. As soon as I try to drag and drop, my image just moves. Okay, so that's not going to work. So Edit, Undo, Move Layer. Okay, so I have to come up with another plan of getting this image into this image. So we'll just how about doing a copy paste. So we'll do a um, select all, okay? So that selects the whole thing here, right? And then edit, copy, and then click on the flower image, right? Now I activate this window right here, right? And then edit, paste, okay? And now I have a floating selection, right, on a separate layer. To make this floating selection take, I'm going to click the new layer button and now it goes in on its own layer. So now I can move it and it's on its own layer on the new image. Now the hands are uh, have come in too small. I can get rid of this image now. Excuse me. Don't save. Okay. So now I have the images together. Now this image is a little too small for the flower so I want to make it bigger. So I'm going to scale it up. To scale it up, I'm going to get the scale tool over here in the toolbar. There it is. Scale button, scale tool. All right. Here's some settings for it. But I'll just click on the keyboard. Opens up my scale window. And then what I'm going to do is is just grab it, holding down the shift key, and make it bigger. So that. All right, and it's taking. Let's see here. It's taking, taking, taking. See down at the bottom. All right. Now it's scaled larger. All right. And um, I'll, I, if I like it, I hit scale, and it should be done. Okay, so now it's done. Oops, scaling again. It, this is a bummer. You have to make sure you don't keep touching it with the same tool. I'll make it even bigger. Okay, there it goes. It's taking, taking, taking. And normally you have to hit enter for the thing to take, but it's taking anyway. All right, I'm all done. So we're back to my move tool. Now that I have my move tool, I can move the keyboard around and into place. And I'm going to put the keyboard right, let's say, here. All right? And I want to blend the two layers together. Well, an easy way to do that is to do a layer mask and then use my gradient tool right here. So that's what I'll do. Okay? With my top layer selected, my keyboard here, see there it is, selected. See, oh, there's background, there's top layer, background, pasted layer. Okay, my keyboard layer selected. Uh, I can go to layer, all right, uh, mask, add layer mask. Okay, layer, mask, add layer mask, click. And um, the top choice, white, full opacity, is correct. So I'll just click OK. And now I have a layer mask right in here, as you can see. And all I have to do now is get my gradient tool. There it is, my gradient tool is over here. And I will click, holding down the mouse button, drag, and then let go. And there it goes, blending, 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 blending. And it's going to put in a layer mask for me. Okay. And it is disappeared, but not sufficiently enough. So I'm going to do an Edit Undo. And I'm going to look at why that wasn't nice. Well, let's go over to our options here. It's got to be in the options why that's not so nice. So first of all, I've got Radial Gradient set. All right? And I don't want a Radial Gradient. I want a Linear Gradient. Okay, not a Radial. I want Linear. Look, there's some other choices here. Uh, so I'll click on Linear Gradient. All right, and then opacity, I'll have the opacity be, uh, let's say, 
hundred percent so that it'll be full black and white is what I'll be um, laying down full black and white so black and white there's my gradient tool opacity a hundred percent gradient linear gradient now I'll try it click and drag load it's taking down and okay now it seems to be a uh, a better um a better job my black is down here in this bottom corner my white's up here that's no good it's not good so what i'm going to do is edit undo and reverse it i'll click starting here i'll click actually starting right about here click and drag to here and i should get a nice uh blend this time of white to black causing a um, causing a very nice um, gradient mix there we go that's better okay so now the flowers show through the hands are starting to show and the keyboard completely shows that's what I wanted there's my gradient up here in the top and I, I'm pretty pleased with that if I want to tinker with this what I'll do is get my paintbrush once again I need a very large brush so I've made some large brushes here. I've shown you how to do that in a previous example. See Dan's big brush right there. And what I could do is paint, what I want to do is paint black. Now this brush is not big enough, so I need a new brush uh, with a very large radius, 430, maybe 600. Dan's, and then I could call it here, Dan's um, super big brush save it close the window and now paint black to really just get rid of that edge completely I'm painting black here and that's getting rid of the edge completely it's allowing this flower to show completely this flower to show completely it's kind of blending away those hands I'm just click 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 and now I'm getting a nicer blend here that I like uh, a little bit more of flowers to hands here. What I'm doing is painting black, which is actually a mask right here. And I want this flower to show through just a little bit. I want this to, these branches to show through, so I'm painting, painting. And then now uh, the hands are showing in less. And I've got a nicer blend, and I'm, I'm much happier with the overall result. Done. One image.